Good morning, everybody. Welcome back and thank you for joining me today. Um, so today I'm going to be working on a commissioned piece. Um, I need to get my butt and my act together and get some of this stuff um, completed. Um, I have a bunch of pieces I'd like to show you outdoors because the sun has finally decide, uh, decided to grace us with its presence. We've had rain the past three or four days. Um, so I have the um, two periwinkle triptychs, not pewter, periwinkle triptychs, the orange um, base Dutch pour, um, and a few other things perhaps. But um, if you saw my last video, which was my live, um, thank you to everyone who joined in. I'm sorry I couldn't answer everyone's questions. I'm actually going to do lives. Uh, I'm going to try and do them a little more often and try and be able to be more um, focused on answering questions. So stay tuned for more info on that. Um, I did share with you guys my awesome um, YouTube award that I received for um, obtaining 100,000 subscribers. So thank you to everyone for that. Um, if you haven't seen it, check out the last video. Now, in the last video, I happened to mention you know, my life is about to get stupendously busy. Um, we are doing a major renovation to this house. Um, we need a little extra room. The kids need some bigger bedrooms. I need a bigger art space. Um, my father, love him to death, he's a contractor. So he has um, agreed to help us out and we are building a pretty massive extension on the back um, half of our house. So, which means a brand new studio for myself in the basement where it will be closed off, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll be closed off to the rest of the basement. It'll just be a door where I can go in and have my whole art stuff, which means the dogs will be able to come into the basement and not interfere with anything with my art, which is great. Um, we'll have a whole new main floor. So much bigger kitchen with a beautiful island. I've never had an island. I can't wait. I'm super excited. More living space. And of course, the second floor up above where the kids will have um, massive new bedrooms, even bigger than our master bedroom, which kind of makes me jealous, but it's okay. Whatever they need, you know, we're going to get it done. So we have started, you know, taking things down, packing things up. Um, so I thought about potentially videotaping the progress of this renovation. So I want to hear from you guys if that is something you would be interested in seeing at the end of my videos. I won't create, there'll be little snippets here and there. Um, I probably won't create videos just of renovation. Um, I'm hoping, I've got my fingers crossed, I'm hoping that this renovation will not interfere with my YouTube channel, making videos for you guys. Um, you know, we're rearranging things. My studio, art studio down here, is going to be moved upstairs um, soon. We have, uh, my husband has his office upstairs. He will relocate to the now dining room. We're selling off the dining room set, formal dining room, no need for that. Um, so once that room is empty, my husband will bring his office desk down. He will situate himself there. And then I get to have the um, empty bedroom upstairs where I will cover it floor to floor with tarp so I don't ruin the gorgeous hardwood floors because you do not want to see the floors down here in the basement. It's unfortunate. So um, I will temporarily move upstairs. So there's going to be a lot of moving, a lot of packing. It's, it's going to be crazy, guys, and I want you guys along for the journey. So if you're interested in that, I'm curious to know, would you want to see this journey and, and you know, follow this journey with me and live this journey with me? Um, so let me know in the comments below. I have a few snippets already, which um, I'll probably add to the end of this video. Um, we've started taking apart the deck in the backyard, which is a shame because we literally just built it, what, two summers ago? Um, and it's kind of, uh, you know, heartbreaking to see it come down, but that's okay because bigger and better things are on the way. So I will continue to document all of that. Uh, in about a week's time, we're going to have an excavator come in and dig a massive 10 foot hole into the ground. So, you know, crazy times ahead. So bear with me with commissions 
bear with me. I will try and keep my schedule to every third day to release a video. I will do my best to continue everything and not have any interruptions. Um, if you saw my video two before that, where I did two pieces for two different clients, I did a pink one and then I did a green with pewter and, and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I came back to the basement hours later and the paint had just shifted right off the canvas. Like it was just a muddy mess and it was so disappointing. Um, you know, and a lot of people in the comments uh, in my Instagram and Facebook say, why did that happen? Well, I accidentally um, mismeasured my white base paint and made it too thin. Um, I made it way too fluid and because of that, it literally just ran, not physically, but it literally ran right off the canvas. So I did scrape them. I'll show you one of them. I did scrape them. So here's the pink one. I was able to scrape the top, but obviously the sides had already dried. Um, which is fine because I will still use this canvas. I will probably paint it a dark color and do a dark base, maybe a black Dutch pour or a dark navy blue. So that'll cover this no problem. Don't waste canvases. Don't throw them away. You know, scrape it off if you're not happy. And, you know, I can't do another white one because this will definitely come through the white and it'll show and you don't want that. It's got to be something dark. Thalo blue, thalo green, navy blue or even black, right? So, or you can just use a lighter color, but add like five coats of it. You know what I mean? So I had to scrape it and uh, I made two new paintings, which um, I think might even actually be dry right now. Let me show you. Yeah, it is. Yep. So here is the new version, um, which ironically is so much nicer than the original, in my opinion. Unfortunately, Elvis has left the building. Um, there's no Elvis in this one, um, but I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. Look, the popsicle stick is still stuck on it. Um, and my client, Carla, is uh, super happy with it. So um, that's all that matters to me. And then the other one with the green and pewter, that one also got redone. And this one turned out super nice too. So I'm really happy. Look at that silver shine. So I'm really happy with that piece as well. And uh, my client is pretty happy too. So these still need um, a coat of resin. I will put a coat of crystal resin on that. A lot of people are still asking me about crystal resin and my promo code. I will have a promo code by the end of the month. I was guaranteed this. So if you can hold off till the end of August, I will have a promo code where you guys can save a little bit of money on crystal resin. So stay tuned for that. And I think that might be it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Um, head on over to Juno and YouTube, Juno. Juno and Echo's YouTube channel. Um, and don't forget Lucas. Lucas is also continuing up with his um, train videos. So head on over and check out those um, two channels. And I would love it if you subscribe to those channels as well. Lucas Soraco, you can just do a search and also do a search on Juno the Husky. So I think that's all I have to say. I'll take you guys outside for some outdoor pieces <clears throat> and then we'll get started on the commission piece um, for my client today. I'll be right back.
right guys, welcome back. So what I have here is a 15 by 30 inch canvas. I have already gone ahead and flooded my canvas with my white paint. It's still wet. I've been getting a lot of questions lately asking if the white paint is dry. No, it's wet. It has to stay wet or else your colored paints will not move. So I've already flooded it. Um, and then I use Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and I mix it with Floetrol and water. And if you're interested in how I mix those paints and the ratios for my bottles, check out video number 63 up at the top. I will link it. Just click on the little white bar that pops up. It'll take you right to that video and uh, you will learn how I mix my paints. So this um, request was based from my video number, I believe it's 229 again. Um, I can link it up at the top for you guys to have easy access to that video. The client really, really loved the colors, loved the blues, but she um, requested a hint of burgundy in mixed with the blues. So I've modified the colors just a smidge. Um, so I had in the old video, I had light blue, um, but I have taken it out and I've added the Garnet by Deco Art. Now, the reason I did that is because I already have six colors here. You know, when you have that many, you're kind of playing with fire um, in terms of, you know, potential muddiness. You know, the more colors you add, the more trouble you can get into. So I wanted to keep it um, simple. Well, six is not simple, but six is better than seven. Um, so the colors I'm gonna be using today is I'm gonna start off with Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. Now in the original video, I have turquoise. Um, it's literally almost the same color, I'll show you. So here's the turquoise and here's the Metallic Cobalt Blue. I substituted because the Metallic Cobalt Blue has a beautiful metallic shimmer to it. The turquoise does not. So I've decided to make that modification as well. So Metallic Cobalt Blue, then we have Deep Sapphire by Deco Art. Then, of course, I said the Garnet by Deco Art. Then I have Sterling Silver by Deco Art. Then Deep Turquoise by Deco Art. I need to fill these bottles. They are running low. Uh, and Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Now, I just reminded myself, a lot of people ask me, what do you do when the paint runs out in your bottle? So let's see, for example, my Sterling Silver. That's all I got left. Um, I do not clean the bottles. There's no need to clean the bottles. Um, I will refill this bottle with sterling silver. Again, um, I refill it. I do not clean them. If there's a color that I want that I don't have in a bottle, I use a brand new bottle. Um, I do not clean my bottles. I just continue to refill them. The paint in these bottles lasts months and months and months. So you don't have to, as long as you keep the lid closed and it's airtight, you're good to go. Okay, and don't forget you can get these, these are Loli Vefi bottles, not Love Life bottles, they are Loli Vefi bottles, and you can save 20% off your entire Loli Vefi purchase by using code CANELA10, and you can get all that information in the description below. Okay, guys, 10% um, off the entire website, it's a new promo code, um, so have fun with that, shop, get your silicone mats, um, there's all kinds of great stuff. All right, now there is a clump of something in there and a clump of something there, gone. Now the thought process of my lines. So I think I'm going to do the same style as lines as the last video where the client saw. And I'm going to add a little bit of white paint because I can see the canvas right there and I don't like that. So let's uh, do a line like this. And then I think my other line, I'm going to totally change it up and kind of go like that. Change it up, make all kinds of weird squiggly lines, and then we'll see what happens. So I will keep moving with this. So yeah, I'm uh, nervous, scared, excited about this whole renovation all at once. Um, you know, the house we live in now was custom built. We had it custom built uh, 10 years ago. And the builder, you know, he was the project manager. He took care of everything. He had his, uh, his trades guys. He had all his workers do everything for him. 
you know, he oversaw the whole project. Well, this is different now. I am the project manager. Um, my dad, as I said, is helping with the project, but my dad also lives an hour away and doesn't deal with, um, you know, tradespeople up here where we live. So I have been calling people, dealing with the town of Innisfil for permits and this and that. So on top of everything else I do, I have become um, a project manager. So if I want this done right, you know what they say, you got to do it yourself, right? So, so far so good. I'm sure once all the digging and everything starts, things are going to get hectic and scary and crazy because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a contractor. So um, we'll see how that goes. But it'll be exciting to document everything and uh, have you guys come along for the ride. So, like I said, if you're interested in seeing all that, let me know in the comments below. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that. And like I said, they will be video snippets at the end of every, or not every, but at the end of my paint videos. That way it doesn't interrupt anything with painting and, you know, the tutorials you guys are watching. If you want to stick around to the end and see some construction videos, feel free to stick around to the end. All right, so... Let's blow this out and uh, see what we uh, end up with here. So I think I'm going to blow this way because I don't want it to come this way and hit this one because this one will go this way. So there's a lot of thought process into this. So let's uh, go this way first. I don't have it. So now that is going to be really hard to blow out. Um, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, I got to be careful with this. So I think I'm going to blow this down because um, that's going to be a problem. Very big problem. Um, mm, 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 I wonder. Uh, no, okay, let's just blow it and see what happens. I'll have to blow um, upside down like this. Up high, start up high first, remember. look at I can't believe this and oh my goodness look at this okay I wish there was a little bit of negative space in between here um, I really do wish that and I'm gonna try try to fix that I'm gonna try and alter that because um, I really do I did want um, negative space in there and I don't know the best way to do that I wish I could just suck it up with a straw, but I sure as heck ain't doing that. Um, I cannot believe the cells that are coming out of this thing. It's insane. Um, <laughs> what you can do is add a bead of white, just like that, and it'll push the paint. You see that? So that's why I love my squeeze bottles. So now what I can do is maybe just kind of blow down this way. Like, I mean, I can't guarantee it's gonna stay like that because the paint will just continue to move anyway. Um, but I just kind of wanted a little bit of white going on in there. And I'll erase that blue line right there literally my finger is just skimming the top of the painting so that's what i want i just wanted some white in there
it'll still continue to move, but it's okay. As for the rest of it, I'm so thrilled. I was just about to scratch my head and I've got paint on my finger. <laughs> Oh, I love it. It's so different from the original video because of the garnet. It's amazing. I'm just going to do that. I don't think I want to touch anything. Let's see here. I will torch this petal, which nothing's really happening there. Um, I don't really want to torch anything, actually. Nope, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it as is. And I'm going to... I love the negative space here. I love that it's over here. It's just... It, it's perfect. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys down for a close-up and show you guys with the lights on. And of course, with the lights off. Be right back. All right, guys. So here we are with the studio lights on. And just like, I mean, these cells are stunning. It's crazy how fast they appeared right after I blew all the paint out. Like that's a beautiful blue cluster. And look at the light blue there. I'm so happy with this piece. Totally happy, look at that. All right, so this is what it looks like with the bright white lights on. And I'm hoping it stays put. It doesn't move very much. Paint will always move as it's drying, so hopefully it doesn't shift. I made sure the canvas was level, completely level. So let's take a look and see what it looks like with the studio lights off. All right, and here we are with the studio lights off. And let's check out the shimmer. Definitely always shimmer because almost all the paints, actually no, all the paints I did use are either an iridescent paint or a metallic paint. So they all had shimmer to them. I really love this light blue in the middle. It's so pretty right here as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this piece. Um, also, let me know in the comments below if you're interested uh, in seeing the um, renovation process of uh, the next five, six months of my crazy life. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Guys, everything that you need to know is in the description below with a bunch of coupon codes for color art, you can save 20% off color art, the entire website, 10% off Loli Vefi, entire website. Um, what else do I have a code for? I can't even remember. But uh, yeah, check everything out in the description below, guys. And uh, my Amazon links. Don't forget, if you're shopping on Amazon, please click on the link um, and go through Amazon um, with my link. It's really helpful for me. And my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate to my channel. It helps me buy supplies. It helps me um, continue making these videos. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's Friday. Yes, it is. Because I seem to always mess that up when I tell you guys what day it is. And um, it's not the day I say it is, but it is Friday. I know it is. It's Friday, August 7th. So I hope you enjoy your Friday and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Until next time, guys, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye. It's coming down. crazy we just built it two summers ago only to have to tear it down oh well on to bigger and better things right dump run can't let the dogs out anymore front porch only